Take it away, Annie. Cool. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. We spoke on the phone. Then I saw you as we sound checked. I thought I knew you. And you didn't. But I knew you from the phone, <laughs> but it, you looked familiar. So it's sort of interesting. It might have been my voice, like my aura. I think it might have been your aura. You know. So you are tuned in to the Cleveland Sessions presented by Miller Lite. We're here with Langhorn Slim. Langhorn, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. Nice <laughs> to see you, my dear Annie. <laughs> Good to see you. And you guys are touring like crazy right now. I mean, how is that going for you? Well, I don't feel like we're touring like crazy right now. I've been touring like crazy since I could tour <laughs> like crazy. So it's been, as we were talking about earlier, um, We'll break the curtain. You know, there's people behind these cameras, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Very handsome people. Um, it's been sort of a 20-year road trip, you know, ever, ever since I was a kid and places would book me, I got on the road. So this particular incarnation of this project is, I suppose, about a year old. We put this band together for the record Lost at Last, Volume 1, which we were out on tour singing <laughs> and shouting about. And... Um, yeah, that'll continue throughout the summer and and onward, we, we hope. <laughs> uh, so Lost at Last, Volume 1, it's pretty stripped down, it's folky. Uh, could you talk about the process that you had making that album? The idea behind it was just not to have, it, have the songs be overly um, known. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted really to just have... <clears throat> Songs that didn't make other records for whatever reason, that maybe were a little bit more produced or different kinds of records. Um, and yeah, a more folky kind of record that just sounds like friends in a living room playing loosely together, like how I actually do when I'm at home with friends in a living room. Uh, and I wanted to capture that. And so that was, that was the impetus, the motivation, the inspiration. And I think for me and for a lot of people, just something a bit raw to connect to um, is at least is a feeling that permeates throughout myself is to connect through grit and an element of rawness yeah. as opposed to shiny. <laughs> I like some shiny things. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so th that's volume one. Can we expect a volume two? A volume volume two is completely polished, <laughs> full of top 40 hits. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that'll be out uh, in 20 minutes. In 20 minutes? Yeah, so get this out. Wow, we, we got to edit this pretty quickly. <laughs> got to edit it quickly. Uh, there will be a volume two. Um, maybe three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, but at least a volume two. Awesome. That much we're, we're fairly certain of. Um, and you talked about this, you mentioned it, and you're pretty vocal about it. You really like creating connections and creating connections with your audience. Could you kind of describe what that's like to be at a live show, what you feel like? I think connection is, is key in, in the work that I do. Um, I think it's key in the world that we live in, compassion, connection. And I've never been, I'm sort of a needy, uh, performer, I suppose, so I've never been one just to write a song and, and sing the song. Um, I, I, I want to feel the people and, and sing it with the people and get close to the people. I suppose the idea is, and it has always been, but, but even more so in, in the world that we're finding ourselves in, is if we can supply an experience and people are able to come with an open heart and an, and an open mind and a vulnerable state to be elevated by a particular kind of energy and, and music, um, to kind of forget about what's going on out there and, and to unify as just human beings as opposed to divide based on believing this or believing that, but just to be human animals getting their freak on at a concert. <laughs> I think it's a powerful thing. So you have a pretty broad fan base and you've connected with different kinds of people. Do you have any stories about fans that you've met at shows or anything kind of interesting on this tour specifically? That's tough. I'm just glad to connect with old people, young people, uh, people that look different than one another. It's, um, I'd, li I'd like more of that. And um, as I said before, if what I do can bring people together um, in a positive way, 
this is my this is my hope this is my prayer this is my mission through through my music at least today maybe tomorrow i'll try to do something else no, <laughs> no this this is definitely the path so great well thank you so much i'm for honored joining to us. be on it thank you um and thank you for watching the cleveland sessions yes indeed peace and love my friends <laughs> sweet <laughs>